everybody welcome back to my channel how's everybody doing if you are new here welcome my name is Tessa and thank you so much for stopping by don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also hit that bell button so you guys can be notified when I release all of my videos so in today's video I get so many questions from you guys DMs in my Instagram about certain things just being an amputee in general having a prosthetic leg and I always get comments from you guys in all of my pictures there's just so many questions that I get that are repetitive but in this video I'm gonna kind of do something a little different why not respond back to some of the negative comments because here's the thing a lot of people were like well why are you gonna even give the negative comments like attention why does it even matter it's not really about that a lot of people who actually wonder how I deal with the negative comments and everything why not and just show you guys what I truly feel and think about some of the nasty comments that people have to say because when I say I don't care I don't effing care about what people have to say so if you guys are interested keep on watching a lot of people are wondering how much am I on my prosthetic leg how much do I walk when do I take it off all of that kind of stuff and I know a lot of you have been asking if I can talk about my prosthetic more in depth and what kind I have and I'll definitely do that in a video for you guys. I am pretty much on my leg like 24 7 not literally but every single day that's just what I choose to do I feel like I can function better when I have my prosthetic on I feel like I can get more accomplished I can do more just being a mom in general and I have two younger children so I just feel like it's just easier for me to function better that way this has been a long journey for me that's just my world now that's what I'm used to if it's a morning where I'm just kind of lounging around the house I will just kind of like hang out because I'm not really doing much but the second I know I need to be you know more mobile that's when I'll put my prosthetic leg on I can pretty much do everything without my prosthetic on though I know that's another question that a lot of people were wondering how active can I be I can cook without it I can do my laundry without it I can make the bed I can take care of my kid like I don't need like you don't need two legs it's just your way of life and that's what you're used to so you adjust and I've just learned how to do things for myself along the way so I pretty much like anything you guys can imagine I can do without having my prosthetic on a lot of people ask can I drive yes I drive because it is my right foot our gas pedals on the right side I do use my left foot and I can also drive without my prosthetic on it doesn't really affect me I just choose to wear it because I just feel like I can get things done quicker I'm more mobile I can't get this one wet so I'll just do again my normal thing wake up in the morning do what I have to do that I know I can do without it on get a shower put it on and then start my day at the end of the evening I take it off before I go to bed because with the type of system that I have and any prosthetic that I am aware of that I know of you have to take it off it's not something that can you can like leave on for days on end if you just think about something covering any part of your body for a long period of time it's not good health wise it's just not okay so you have to let your skin breathe and you have to let um you know you have to expose it to air and things like that if you're not exposing your skin for a long period of time with like the type of material that is used i've had times where because again all throughout my teenage years i was learning i was adjusting to my prosthetic and i was kind of just like learning my you know new normal so there were times where i would get so many sores and cysts and um, chafing of the skin because of the prosthetic rubbing you know up against my skin and it was a really really ugh, dreadful time super uncomfortable it would leave me going days without being able to then put my prosthetic back on imagine just like like raw skin and something rubbing against it all the time and I've definitely had my fair share of experiences doing that and scars to prove it um, and minor little surgeries that I've had to get on my leg 
because of adjusting to my prosthetic and trying to get the right fit and trying to figure out how to walk on it and, and how long to keep it on and things like that. So that actually really sucks, but like I said, it's been a long time now, so I am pretty much used to it. I have crutches that I use when I um, don't have my prosthetic on, but honestly, crutches hurt i don't know i just find them very uncomfortable people were asking does it feel weird like knowing the sensation of walking and not having like your foot hit the ground and basically having to rely on something to get you know to walk to get you to where you have to go i've been thinking about this question but it's so funny because yes and no like to me it's not weird. When I walk, I don't even think twice about it. And I literally rely, I put my whole body weight onto like this prosthetic leg and I don't even think, oh, is my foot touching the ground? Is it not? When I am standing or, you know, have my feet on the ground, you don't feel it. Obviously, it's not your real foot. It doesn't feel weird to me. I'm just so used to it. Going into that um, question, I actually thought of something that I thought was super interesting. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of something called phantom pain. That is something that I, till this day, still get, which is so crazy because when I think back to when I first had my leg amputated, it was so much more severe than it is now but the fact that it's almost 20 years later and i'm still getting phantom pain is actually really crazy to me so i've basically just come to terms that it'll never go away and it's the weirdest feeling ever for those of you who have no idea what phantom pain is i'm just gonna read the definition really quick it says phantom pain is pain that feels like it's coming from a body part that's no longer there doctors once believed this post amputation phenomenon was a psychological problem but experts now recognize that these real sensations originate in the spinal cord and brain so i'm here to say yes it's real it's not like something that's being made up your nerves are being cut how can anybody even make something like that up that's the first time i actually heard that second part of the definition okay so i'll just speak for me so the bottom half portion of my leg is no longer there right like from my knee down i don't have that but there will be times where i will feel like my foot is itching my toes are itching um you know like my calf like a bottom portion of my leg my ankle it's so freaking real and it's so like if i'm being honest it's creepy it's so weird to me it's funny because when i'm focusing and i'm talking about it right now i feel it more than ever but i've had lots of times where i feel total discomfort because of certain sensations and whatnot and other times i will literally just feel something itching or something kind of like hurting me a little bit but not like pain wise there have been times though this is super weird i've had this done to me before where like people will try to like tickle my foot and no i can't feel it but for whatever reason something in my brain that i, I think is more of the psychological thing it won't make me feel ticklish but I'll know that somebody's touching it and it'll like really bother me. I don't know. I don't even know. Like this is the most random weird thing ever. But I just felt like I had to talk about it because it's a real thing. Like if any of you are out there that have had anything amputated and it's still within like a new stage. And you are having some crazy phantom pain. I will say it does ease as time passes. No, it's not going to go away. But it will get better. I'm going to like jump around to some random questions so do you guys remember the picture that i posted in my first video that i was talking about and people were doing nasty comments and always had crap to say for those who don't remember that's the picture go to my instagram it's on there a lot of people ugh, had really nasty things to say but then like you know what's so funny? You click on those people's profiles. They have like no pictures, no followers. They probably make up a page just to lurk people's pages and talk crap. So a lot of people were like leaving comments, making fun of the picture of me when I was losing my hair and everything. And when I had already started chemotherapy and I had the cancer, looking at the picture of me, um, like currently like how I am now some people were insinuating that I had I remember reading one comment that a couple people actually asked if I had plastic surgery on my face some person um, insinuated that I spent $50,000 on reconstructive surgery for my face I mean I know a lot of things that I could do with $50,000 but right here right now let's set the record straight that no 
I have not had any reconstructive surgery on my face. This is how I grew up. Not for nothing, it's actually really sad that people always want to like make a negative out of something that is actually positive and impacting other people. Some people said something about my jawline. No, this is my jawline. Like there's the only scar I have is right here because I felt, oh actually two right here and right here because I fell off a bike when I was like five or six years old and I got a bunch of stitches. Other people were saying something about my nose because my nose is like really, I guess like defined right here. By the way, I have makeup on too, so. Go to my other videos. Literally in most of my videos so far, I've posted, like you guys have seen me without makeup. Not an inch of makeup on my skin. If you look, go to my Instagram, go to my Facebook, look me up on Facebook. I have not really changed like if anything it's called growing up i'm not a child i am a grown woman it's called losing baby fat on your face things like that happen your face gets more defined and you you slim out in certain areas and cheekbones might pop more and again hello it's called makeup to accentuate certain things it is what it is like i don't even know what to say it's just the most craziest thing by the way speaking of a lot of you have asked what my hereditary is, so stay tuned for a video on that because I am going to be doing a DNA test so then I can reveal all with all of you guys because I'm interested too. I've taken one before, but I wanted to take another one with another company to kind of match it and see if it's the same and like if I get the same results. So stay tuned for that. Some of you have asked, how did I come up with the decision to amputate my leg? Like, was it me? Was it my parents? It was all me. It was my decision. And then I also read a couple nasty comments where people had the audacity. It's one thing to sit there and like say something about me, but then to bring other people into it, I feel like it's totally uncalled for and I'm gonna speak about it. A few people were insinuating that it was so horrible for my parents to do that to me as a child. They just threw my life away. How sad it is that my parents made that decision to get my leg amputated. I swear I get so freaking hated about stuff like this because I just feel like that's totally not called for. And not for nothing, it's not fair. It's not fair for my parents because can you imagine as, a, and I can say this now because I'm a parent, just imagine what they feel about this whole situation. Watching your child go through something like that, watching your child have this life-changing experience happen to her. I mean, obviously now this is like years, years later, but just like the audacity that some people had to say some stupid shit like that is so uncalled for and it's not fair. So again, no, I made that decision. At 11 years old, my parents came to me and they said, we want you to think about this and we want you to make this decision because we want you to feel like whatever you feel is going to be best for you long term and we want this to be your decision because we don't want you to regret anything i did find out later on that my parents um definitely like i definitely talked about it with them i remember talking about it with my mom and stuff and the doctors and i definitely know that my mom was leaning more towards um, getting my leg amputated too. I do know that there were some family members and I do believe my dad was one of them who felt like I shouldn't get the amputation. Not for nothing guys, for me it was super simple. They laid out all of the information of all the three different surgeries that I could get. I briefly touched on it in my first video but the thought about it possibly coming back if they tried to save my leg and having my leg be deformed if they did operate that way I just didn't want that the rotation plasty I just felt like that just wasn't for me at the time and then obviously the amputation and like I said out of all three of those my mindset and if you ask my parents till this day they will tell you the exact same answer my mindset was do it I don't want to ever go through this again. So leave my parents out of it. A lot of Instagram handles are posting like this caption about me overcoming cancer and I achieved a, a goal of becoming a stunning woman. Something along those lines and a lot of people are commenting that's what you're proud of. You're proud of just becoming a stunning woman, blah, blah, blah. I'm happy with the way I look. I'm not saying that I'm not. However, I never said that. I never came up with that caption. A lot of people, when they pull your picture from other Instagram accounts or other 
people, they tend to just write whatever they want for their page. So I can't really control that. Do I get bothered that a lot of people steal my picture and repost it? No, I mean, it is what it is now. I was kind of bothered by it at first. But I got used to it very quickly. Less than 48 hours, I was like, I'm over it. Only caption that I have ever wrote, you can go right to my Instagram page and you can see exactly what I wrote. All of the other captions, other people's accounts, is something that they wrote that they got off of another account and they just copied and pasted it. So to answer the question, no, that's not what I'm proud of. I'm not proud of becoming a stunning woman. I never said that. Yes, I am proud of my accomplishments in overcoming cancer and fighting it and beating it. People really always have something to say. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> what a jerk. Proud of herself for genetics out of her control. Not a reason to be proud. Again, I never said that. Again, talking about the genetics again. I'm really about to do this test, like, right now. I need to do this hereditary test. I never knew like what a troll was until like I experienced it. It's really bizarre. And then she put makeup on. Wrong. Because I feel like I'm one of those people who actually don't look that different without makeup. And a lot of people that I know say the same thing. This is my opinion, but I feel like I don't wear a lot of makeup. I'm actually wearing more makeup in this video than I have in all of my previous videos. But that's because I was just at an event. So... I have a lot of makeup on. This is more of like my sit down talking with you guys, but my vlogs, I think there's always a part in every single video where I'm not wearing any makeup. And like I said, I feel like I look the same. All right guys, so that's it for my video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys have any suggestions for anything that you would like to see from me, leave it in the comments below. Head over to my Instagram, DM me, leave comments. I definitely see them. I always read them. I love hearing from you guys. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys are new here. Are you going night night? Yeah. Can I have a kissy? Mmm. Say hi to everybody. Hi, buddy. Hi, everybody. Hi. What's your name? Brady. Brady. Do you know how old you are? No. Are you two? Two. You're two. Good job. Are you going night night? Hi. Yeah, did you have a good day today? Yeah. I'm getting ready to close my video out. Do you want to help me? He, like, he likes closing my videos out, guys. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And don't forget to comment. Can you tell them? Say comment. Come. Like. Yay. Share. Share. Subscribe. Yeah. Say hit bell button. Subscribe. If you guys want to follow me on my Instagram, I will leave it right here. Do you have anything else to say for yourself? Everybody, thanks for watching. Yes. Okay, say goodnight. Night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. 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 Bye.